Okay, so welcome everybody to today's professional development. Uh, it's great to see new faces, familiar faces. Uh, my name is Mary Matolo. I'm one of the instructional designers here at the Center for E-Learning. I had a partner. I wonder where she is. Have you seen my partner? Oh, there she is. Yuli, why are you carrying those boxes? Well, it's that that one look. You know. <laughs> they look, they're very happy, actually. Very happy. Thank you. <laughs> what is that whole looking thing? You know, I uh, it's it's it can be overwhelming. Really, really can. Um, we've we've got this moving thing coming up, and it's for two. Um, Mary. Yes. Can I tell you something? You won't, you won't tell anyone. No, I don't want to. I'm really excited about the move. I really am. I'm scared to try yeah, it. Move it. But don't, you know, don't, yeah. don't let anyone else know that, okay? Yeah, yeah. Moving can be exciting, but it can also be very, very scary. Um, so, what kind of moving are we talking about here? Are we really moving our boxes and our kitty stuff? She has tons of kitty stuff that she's carrying. So the moving we're talking about is changing perceptions, right? Moving from online, from face to face, something that is familiar, to online teaching. So today uh, we're going to be comparing those two things. Um, moving physically to moving online and we're going to find a lot of support to help us as we make that move and as we uh, want to get comfortable with the move so by the end of today's presentation hopefully we will be more comfortable with the move that we're all having to face today so, so in addition to the moving into uh, online, yes. we also have another move coming up. So that's it. This is all exciting and it all ties in. So thinking about a move, literally moving to a new residence, um, on your the poll everywhere, if you would respond to the question, what are some challenges that we encounter when we move? And we want them to either do a one-word answer, or if there's more than one word, hyphenate the words yes. so that will appear together. There we go. Good. So you've been already, you've been participating already. Okay. So there are challenges with the logistics. Can be overwhelming, difficult, and we need help. Consuming. We need help. <laughs> Oh, yes, the logistics, finding things. Finding things. Packing. Yes, absolutely. Not not the, not a fun part of it, no. And I find this one particularly uh, difficult. What yes. to feed and what to toss. Yes, that is a huge challenge. Yes. Huge challenge. How about this one, Yuri? Getting organized. No, <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah, I, I, that's, that's, um, Difficult word for me. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I like the money one too. That's that there's always hidden expenses. Always. Okay. Old, new, familiar. Okay. All right. So yeah, some great ideas. Yes. Great thoughts. And uh, and so what we're gonna do is talk about Making some connections and figuring out how to uh, how to move through um, thanks move through those moves. So as we move, we have to think about finding all the things in our new spot that we were comfortable with in the in the old spot. So uh, well, to begin with, how will people know where I am? How will they reach out to me in my new neighborhood? Yes, and so we have to, one of the first things we have to do is find the post office and get that change of address card yes. ready to roll. 
And so to tie that into making an online move, we also have access to a number of communication tools. Some of you in the current uh, e-certification workshop have been talking about the uh, communication things that are available to us. We certainly can send out emails, we send out announcements, there's other, a lot of ways of communicating and letting, uh, letting everyone know, and of course in the case of an online situation, your students are the ones you want to keep in touch with, so letting them know that you are indeed there for them. And we usually talk about timely feedback, consistent feedback, and we've talked about using rubrics for that, using the great book to communicate their expectations, writing your syllabus, which is the topic of eSERTs next week, next unit. So all of those are ways in which you can actually stay in touch with your students. And in the new learning management system, Canvas, creating videos is as easy as one click. So you can now add mm -hmm. audio and video feedback to your communications with your students. Mary, did I tell you that I went to a really great show last weekend? Uh -huh. It was wonderful. I so enjoyed it. The music was just incredible. And so as I'm thinking about a move, I have to make sure I can find where to go to find these great shows. Yes, of course. So finding, knowing where to access your media, your movies, your videos is also important. And as you know, there are many ways and many options for creating media content that are available for you as you move to your new neighborhood. And that's another way of making sure that your students know that you are there for them, being able to put a connection to not only your face, but your personality too, right, Cassandra? <laughs> Yeah, but what happens when things break down? Oh, oh my gosh, yeah, the, 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 uh, the sliding glass door, I had such a hard time with that right. thing, trying to get that thing to move, yeah. and I had to figure out very quickly who to call. Who are you going to call? Who are you going to call? Right? <laughs> so the Ghostbusters are girls now, right? So call for help. Do know where to go when you need technical help. Yesterday I was in a panic because something in my course was not working. And I'm building on that course and it, it's a whole lunch and it has to be ready by next week. And I submitted a ticket to the OIT office and they took care of it within two hours. So I realized that was really not necessary. That's so <laughs> beneficial. Yeah, you didn't. You, you panicked for nothing. for nothing. So it's it's the help is definitely available to us. And even though knowing that OIT probably has a lot going on over there right now, and yet they were still able to step in and uh, and give her the help that she yeah. needed. Yes. yes. Um, I belong, well, you know what, I, I belong to a book club, and I, there's a couple of craft groups that I like to go to, and things that I like to do, and so I am going to have to figure out how to connect up with the people that I want to meet up with of course. in my new place. In your new place. Mm -hmm. Okay, so communication tools in the online environment. Uh, discussion boards are definitely the place to go for those for those interactions and then we have wikis and pages that can be edited as students contribute to them even journals journals yeah which are one-on-one -on -one communication yeah. with Back professors and forth with, the, with the instructor and we can actually create groups within discussion boards and have those groups of students work together throughout the semester, which actually creates a great, great sense of community within those groups. Yeah, in fact, I think we have a couple of people online that are, that are in the process of doing that, uh, doing that right now. So it's, or, or getting it all set up for their fall class. So 
Um, so it's, there's a lot of tools available to us now, as well as going forward, to make sure that our students can stay connected. How about when you have a big project? Mm. And you oh. need to call the experts. Call the experts. Who would that be? Who would, Who would that, that be? be? So, the Center for E-Learning has its bag of tips. Bag of tips. So we have a lot of options available to help you as you make that, make that awesome, amazing, exciting transition. The first one is the team. Everyone who's in here is available to help as you are making that transition from face-to-face -to, -face to online. We are here to support you in what you are doing. I'll share with you. Okay. So, as you know, we have open labs every Friday, and starting next week, we're having them also every Monday. So you can come from 8 to 5 and get help from an instructional designer. And uh, normally you don't have to make an appointment for that because uh, we are here available to help you. And so tied in with those open labs on Mondays and Fridays is a professional development session uh, and at the noontime hour. Uh, both days and the ones on Monday we are going to be focusing on some of the things that we need to know as we transition to uh, Yes, next so. Monday uh, they're going to be doing comparison between Canvas and Blackboard. That will be our professional development next Monday. And you will be pleasantly surprised to know that all the things that you are comfortable with in Blackboard are indeed available in Canvas as well. It may look a little bit different, but we're going to show you how those things tie up so that you, you have all the tools that you need to be successful. Many of you are here because you either are or have recently been in one of our e-certification workshops. And uh, I love the comments. I love to read, to see, listen, and view. We have, what, three Vokey, four Vokey groups yes. this time. Yes. And, uh, and the, the uh, interaction in the e-certification workshop is a really, really powerful tool. All those things in that workshop all the resources in the workshop will be available to you as, as long as you have your FAU email address. So that is a continual support thing for you. What else oh. do you have in there? Oh, there? here's one bag of tips. Okay, so the video support team is right here. There's two thirds of it. Yes, plus Mike. And they will give you options and they will guide you through creating your your media content um, there's different options actually we have a session coming in which mike will go yes. over some of these options so help is available if you feel that creating a video is overwhelming you don't know where to start come and see any of our amazing video experts and you're you might even get invited to go in and record in their their little mini studio yes. in there works out well um, so then the the um like an overall overview of many of these things is what we refer to as community of practice and that is uh our organization of everyone who comes through our doors, who interacts with any of us in any way, automatically becomes part of our community of practice. Because your experience, the things that you have done, the things that you uh, have, have learned about, and things that worked, things that didn't work, are what we invite you to share as we, uh, as we move forward through this. Previous sessions are a part of that community of practice, and we want you to, uh, to be comfortable sharing and sharing your knowledge, your wisdom, and the things that you have learned. 
with uh, with everyone. Okay, IV consultations, other times that are not open lab, let's say you want to come in on a Wednesday, because that's when you have a problem, then just go online and make an appointment and you can come see any of our instructional designers. And all of this information, including a current up-to-date calendar with detailed information on it is available online, fau.edu slash CEL, for, for uh, everything you wanted to know about CEL bag of tips. And I think we have one more. A big one. Did we talk about uh, um, course building? Oh, you know what? We didn't mention it, and I don't have it in here. But yes, we can help you build a course. <laughs> Good thinking. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. You remember just saying that moving is expensive. Yes. Yes. Okay. So these are some of the services at the at, the, at your fingertips that are available, and. You don't have to pay for them, all right? Yeah. Which is good. Here for you. You're here for you. Okay. So now we're going to ask you to. Uh, I think we are going to ask you to give some thought to um, how some of the things that we've shared in this today, or some of the things that you may have heard or may have be trying out, um, help you become more comfortable as you move into uh, move into being an online Yeah, and professor. even something you may have experienced uh -huh, as you definitely. go through ESERT, which is about to end, anything that you may have experienced. No, 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 no. ESERT doesn't end. Well, this is yeah. opening the last unit yeah. next, week, next week, but right. you're still, it will still be always available to you. And if you haven't completed, although a few people are saying way ahead of us, um, <laughs> yes. Look at the, look at the yes. <laughs> Yeah, who's, who are we talking about, right? Uh, but yes, it will always be available there. And I'm also going to invite those of you who are in it to go back and look at some of the discussion boards and the conversations because there are some who haven't progressed quite as fast as some others <laughs> and what they will benefit from the encouragement that you can go back in and, and offer them. Everyone has had some wonderful comments to make. So this is our uh, your Google Slides. So I want to invite you to take just a couple of minutes to go into the Google Slide and uh, jot down any ideas that uh, you have from uh, about the comfort level for you or something you want to share about the process of moving into it as an online. Okay, let's, let's look at them. Looks like we've got Tom's idea. You want to share us? Oh, excuse me. Just, just the support, man. That's what I was going to say. Anytime you have an issue, it's like you said, don't panic. Don't panic. Yes. Yeah, don't panic. And I'm going to um, pass that comment right on back because we have two in the room and one online of our uh, people from the library reference department. And we have three others who have been through the e-certification process. And these people have provided us with an amazing amount of support. They, uh, they, the, the resources that they have available and made available to us, I haven't been over there yet, but what someone did is solve whatever question I brought to them and bring me a whole lot more information uh, besides. So, so that, that, that support works both ways. Can I just, I also want to apologize for whoever slide I stole. <laughs> I didn't realize I, I, I stole some slides. Oh, wow. Well. Oh, well. Um, and so, Sherry, maybe that's who you shared with. <laughs> okay. Uh, is she uh, Mike Hogan? Did you say Sherry, Judy? Do you, Hi. Want, do you want me to have me, Sherry? Go ahead, Sherry. 
Can you hear me okay? Yes. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Uh, well, uh, having tech support is very important. Um, once when I was a, well, when I was a graduate assistant at another university, I was the tech support for public classes. And I know how important it is for students and faculty alike to have it at all times. I mean, that's just a, if nothing else, it's the psychology, even if you don't use the technology to, you know, you don't need it to solve a problem. Yes. But then also knowing that there is a core vision around <clears throat> using an online approach, uh, which kind of is a segue into my third, um, something that, that would help me personally is knowing that there is evidence that an online approach actually moves things forward and progresses things and, and is shown to have had an effect on enriching uh, the learning and the teaching process. And I would hope that a department or university I was associated with would sort of build that into a, mm -hmm. a core vision and have it move beyond cost and, you know, bling and all the things that um, kind of can get in the way of what it really means to, to be learning and teaching online. Yeah, and you mentioned a good point there. Um, I would hope that everyone who is present with us today, virtually or in person, already knows at this point that you have to move beyond the bling. That's that's the first thing that people like to get into. Wow, here's a here's a tool. I wonder what I how I can use it. But but moving into as any teaching tool, moving into how will it support my being an effective instructor and my students learning. And once we start looking at it from that perspective, then we have a lot available to us. But yeah, it's it's more than the, the flashing lights and the what is it the kids like to do when they first learn PowerPoint, just have the letters come in one by one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, <anyways. laughs> yeah. Okay, thanks, Sherry. Thank you. Corey. Yes. Um, so just knowing that, you know, coming from being like the younger, I'm used to having online coursework. Okay. Um, but I'm going to be TIAing coming okay. in the fall. So knowing that there is, you know, not yes. that I might not, not necessarily need to use the support network because I'm fairly confident with computers, but knowing that there is a group that has like the vision, the you support. know. Well, and you're going to be, you're going to have a completely different perspective on it now. Exactly. So, Taking courses and then transitioning into being a TA is is huge. Right? We've actually done some training for some TAs in a couple of the departments. Yeah, so having that network, I'm switching yep. my role. We're here for you as well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Great, thank you, and thanks for that. Thanks for that perspective, and thanks for being here. Gail. Well, I think for me, the biggest thing is uh, just getting started and knowing that there is support available makes a, a huge difference because I have a tendency to, to make things a lot more complicated than perhaps they need to be, as Mary can attest to. And for me, knowing that there is someone there to just kind of help me break it down uh, help me find the resources that I need and keep moving forward is really beneficial. Yeah, and I would like to say uh, that things look a lot more difficult when yes. we don't know what they are, yes. we don't know what to expect. But once we go over that, we see that there was really no reason to worry. So that anxiety, removing that from the equation, really, really empowers you. And it empowers your students. Yes. Once yes. they know that there will be no surprises, that they can actually, they know what to expect, then they feel much more comfortable. Yeah. And isn't this the same person who did her video standing in front of her fireplace with the dog on the sofa? And, yeah. That was me. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to sit down with you and have a cup of tea with you. I thought that was great. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. So you seem to have gotten past some of the anxiety. Thanks. I'm, I'm moving forward. That is true. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Corinne. 
Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this is an easy one. Uh, well, yeah, I just said, you know, um, open lab because, you know, it's not on anybody's time. It's on, like, the individual's time. Yes. The instructors just walk in whenever they want to. Yes. So that's yeah. very important, yeah. you know. <laughs> yeah. Well, I hope that you're able to work it into your schedule some too. <laughs> <laughs> I, Brynn has been doing such a great job. Cassandra. Um, I think the Blackboard to Canvas transition works shots are going to be really helpful because I finally figured out Blackboard. So <laughs> <laughs> I'm really not excited about it. <laughs> well, it's, uh, yeah, it, it's, it's kind of a, oh my gosh, here it is, here it comes. I see the, I, I, I see the, the, what is the, the saying, the light at the end of the tunnel, and I realize it's a train coming at me. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah. But it's still, uh, it's it's going to be pretty pretty exciting and uh, not going to be like you said, not not as different. difficult as yes. as. Uh, well, we'll see. Yeah. <laughs> and then I, I've been teaching you know this class online for a little bit, and I really like the use of the videos. Yes. Um, the video that I recorded in my office uh, had a little bit of issues with the sound matching up to the video. Yeah. Um, which I think Gail actually pointed out was probably my internet connection. Yeah, I was using Epi's Wi-Fi, so that's probably part of the issue. Um, but I would like to, you know, <coughs> film some more videos. Yeah, I like the natural setting of the office. Yes. Um, mm -hmm. yes. But if I could get some help in there to figure out how to actually get these videos. And yet you around. commented on that, and even so, it, until I read your comment or heard something on where it had been said, I didn't even pick up on that. I was engrossed in what you were saying. It didn't it didn't register with me that it was Well I picked up on it right away. Of so course. I picked up on it. I'm sure the students are gonna pick up on it. We're always our own yes. but it really wasn't that wasn't that noticeable. But yes, I imagine and uh, and thank you Gail for jumping in. That's the beauty of this workshop is that there's always people with uh, with answers to yeah. some of our questions, so it's really it's uh, it's really cool. Answers are a different perspective. Yes, absolutely. It's not. It never is a matter of we're here to tell you everything you needed to know. Heaven forbid. <laughs> we, that would have the course would have been done a long time ago if that was the case. It's what it's what you bring to the course and how you interact. How you uh, uh, your exchanges within the workshop mm -hmm. that, that really make it and and yeah wait till you try coming in to the uh, the recording studio they can even put you in front of a green screen so that when you when you present it you're out here in the trees or at the beach or whatever <laughs> <laughs> so take a picture of my office and impose that yeah, yeah. yeah. so Is that's something you need to make like a reservation or like. A, I guess yeah, so. just yeah. Talk, to, yeah. talk to one of our one of our gentlemen and set up a time and come in and and they'll show you all the options that uh, that are available for you. Yeah, definitely, it's, it's kind of fun. Larry. So for the first one is I uh, hit home with the community factor. I think that's very big because, like you said, we all come from different aspects of yes. the university and academia. So we can have a question that you know, we have a different viewpoint on, and knowing that I can go to anyone who's been through the program and get their feedback, um, as well as you guys, and that leads into the second question, is that it's also good to know we have a crack team of experts who deal with this daily, and as things change, that if something arises, whether it's a technical issue or learning a new tool to uh, for Blackboard or Canvas, or whatever the third option would be down the line, who knows? <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, right. We've had that phrase going around here some too. You know, it's often, there's you guys as well that we can turn to when we have those questions. Yeah, yeah. And I love your comment about being able to interact with because uh, the our library people don't have the background of teaching or generally have the background of teaching a full semester long course and yet they teach every single day in one way or another. So the way they are able to interact and get uh, get the comments back and forth and share has been, uh, it's just delightful, it really is. And I'm not a bit biased. <laughs> Kathy, welcome. Hey, how y'all doing? 
Good. How are you? Is it quiet down there? Kathy's yeah. in today? <laughs> yes, it is. Um, <laughs> no, I, I miss you guys when I'm, when I'm up here. It's, uh, yeah, and but it's, too. it's great to be able to join you online. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty much resonating with the theme that I'm hearing from the other folks. And, um, you know, when you move, you have to leave your old friends and, and go make new ones. And it's really, that's the hardest part for me. But, you know, we're doing this change together. So it's really okay. To me, it, it really is okay. And, yeah, yeah. yeah. We're all, we're all, we're all on the same, yeah. same okay. boat, same train, whatever, whatever, <laughs> what method of transit, bicycle, whatever. Exactly. Yeah. Thank you, Kathy. Thank you. And I think that was That's our okay. last one. Great. Thank you so much. This has been a, uh, a really, a really good positive one uh, in a way of, helping us it's interesting because we actually did this session um, a month or more ago and there was that was when we had some audio issues in the room and so we needed we felt like it was important to redo it so that we could share it with you and to have it available uh, online for you and in the in that time period the idea of moving has taken on a whole different perspective yes. for all yes. of us so it's a, a new scope yeah a whole, <laughs> whole new whole new uh, vista ahead of us new uh, new pathways so uh, one of the the uh, the well two a, a quote that uh, with, that i thought was really pertinent for what we are doing there are things that you can do online that you never could were able to do in a face-to-face -face class most people come into it thinking it's not going to, I'm not going to have that interaction. I'm not going to be able to share. And yet we've been sharing with the people who were online with us even here today. And uh, what I enjoy, in fact, I think Cassandra, you were one of them who said it even in your, maybe in your video or in one of your comments about changing your viewpoint on how to uh, connect with your students. And, and uh, I, I love to see that happen. As we move through the <clears throat> move through the workshop, because invariably it does happen, we come in with one perspective, and fortunately, everyone that comes through is open and willing to check things out and see how it works. And so, um, this was a this is a quote from a, someone that was at a uh, conference that I attended, and it really made me think because it wasn't. It wasn't a perspective that I intentionally thought of before, so now I do. How will the students be different after this class? Because everything, every, every instruction changes the, uh, the participants in one way or another, so think about how they will be different. So how are we different today after this presentation? Hopefully, we are all facing challenges with the move. So, but knowing there are resources available and that we're all going through this together has made us feel better about what's happening. And so we're going to uh, continue helping you feel better and be excited about it. Next week is, uh, Kathy is on with uh, using rubrics to help us with our communication. Interesting thought, isn't it? But it truly is a, a valuable communication tool and to, uh, to set expectations for your students. And then uh, the following week is the, the third one in our, our media series. Uh, in addition to that, we have this coming Monday in here at noon, the uh, comparison of Canvas to Blackboard. So the things that you're familiar and comfortable with in Blackboard, we will show you what, what is a comparable uh, idea in, in Canvas. And I do not remember the next one. Me neither. <laughs> but we'll let you know. We'll let you know. We won't let you go uninformed. Yes. Um,
So uh, thank you. Thank you for joining us today and thank you for sharing. Yes. It's the one on Monday at noon or 12 noon. At noon, yeah. Um, it, it, yeah, it's at noon. <laughs> Yeah, we'll see. We'll be sending the topic yes. every Monday. The topic for the next Monday, as well as the Friday topic. As a Friday, so you'll get so. long drawn out emails from us. But uh, so, thank you. Thanks, thanks for, for participating. Thank you.